PMC Mentor is a professional coaching and mentoring organization providing new learning opportunities for project management professionals. We have created a series of mind map videos to explain the knowledge areas in PMBOK in the most simplest way. Watch, listen and learn the key concepts of project management from the contributor of PMBOK. This mind map video explains project quality management. The key objective of quality management knowledge area is conformance to requirements by ensuring that project requirements, including product requirements are met and validated. It uses quality policies and procedures to implement organization's quality management system. It also supports continuous process improvement activities. There are five key concepts in quality management. These are quality management plan, quality assurance, quality control, seven basic quality tools, and seven quality management and control tools. Let's discuss the first key concept in quality management that is the quality management plan. A quality management plan is a component of project management plan. It describes how the organization's quality policies will be implemented and how the project team plans to meet the quality requirements for the project. Quality metrics and quality checklists are significant outputs from planning processes and will be used in quality control and quality assurance respectively. A quality metric describes a project or a product attribute and how the quality control process will measure it. An example quality metric is to stay within 10% of approved budget. On the other hand, quality checklist is used to verify if a set of required steps has been performed while producing the project or product deliverables. Second key concept is quality assurance. The objective of quality assurance is to ensure that the organization's quality standards and operational definitions are used in project execution. The key benefit of this process is that it facilitates improvements of processes. Processes are improved to make them more efficient by eliminating non-value-added activities as well as making them more effective by reducing the waste in the process. Prevention of defects and errors is the objective for the work that is planned in future while inspection technique helps to identify any defects and errors for the work in progress. Quality audits is a structured, independent process which is used to determine if the project activities comply with organizational quality policies, processes and procedures. Third key concept is the quality control on the project. Quality control is used to assess quality performance by monitoring the results of quality activities. The key benefits of the process are as follow. First to validate the deliverables if they have met the quality requirements and secondly monitoring the cost, schedule and technical performance by comparing plan versus actual. The results from quality control measurements are passed to quality assurance to perform root cause analysis. Fourth key concept is the seven quality management and control tools. These tools are primarily used in quality assurance to improve the processes. Affinity diagram is a group creativity technique that allows large number of ideas to be classified into groups for review and analysis. Process decision program charts is used to understand the goal in relation to the steps for getting to the goal. Interrelationship de graphs provides a process for creative problem solving in moderately complex scenarios. Tree diagram shows a decomposition hierarchy to visualize parent to child relationships. Prioritization matrices is used to identify key issues and evaluate suitable alternatives to define a set of implementation priorities. Activity Network Diagram is a graphical representation of the logical relationships among the project schedule activities and lastly Matrix Diagram is used to perform data analysis of the data that is organized into rows and columns, showing the relationship between factors, causes and objectives. Fifth key concept is the seven basic quality tools, also known as 7QC tools, are used to solve quality related problems. First tool is the cause and effect diagram that is a decomposition technique to trace an undesirable effect back to its root cause. Flowcharts are a kind of process maps used to display the sequence of steps and branching possibilities that exist for a process. Check sheets are used to gather data and present this data in histogram to identify causes of problems. Pareto's diagram is a histogram ordered by frequency of occurrence 
to show how many results were generated by each identified cause. Histogram is a special form of bar chart used to describe the central tendency, dispersion and share of a statistical distribution. Sixth basic quality tool is control chart, which is a graphical display of processes data over time and against control limits to identify a process is out of control. Scatter diagram is a correlation chart uses a regress line to explain or predict how the change in an independent variable will change a dependent variable or if there is a relationship between two variables. This brings us to the end of mind map video of quality management knowledge area. For more details, refer to the step-by-step -step guide on quality management, available in the app. Alternatively, contact us through the feedback form. Thank you.